Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with AgPro getting up high with the Heavy Line Sales Director. Nice to see you, Charlie. You too, Peter. And, Thank um, you. We've seen this is the beast on the site here at Hillhead. Tell sure. me a little bit about the product we're stood on now and, and why it's so important to the industry. Yeah, this is Janssen, the L130. It's a Swedish company. Yeah. So they've been in operation about 40 years. They're designed and developed by a gentleman called Anders Janssen to tackle Swedish granite. Wow, yeah, so hard stuff. You know, really hard really stuff. Really hard stuff. Yeah. So the machine is built with hard ox liners, rubber liners in the feeder, really built robust and also built hybrid. So okay. it's electrified and you can have it on mains or on with the onboard generator. You can have it on tracks, wheels or modular. So if you wanted it like semi fixed, you can have it like that also. So the big thing about this, folks, for me is actually we've, we've got the ability to, to do some really, really hard work. Hardox, by the way, is really, really strong steel, Correct. Um, renowned throughout the industry and the world. But equally, what I like is we can do diesel. Mm -hmm. We can just then plug it in when mm -hmm. it gets to the site. Correct. You know, so then we're only moving the machine if it's tracked like this using the diesel. Correct. Uh, and then we can have lots of different other options. But I was amazed to understand that when it's so big. I mean, this must weigh mega tons. This is 125 tons, but it's actually not the biggest. We have two, <laughs> two really? bigger. Wow. We've got the C140 and the C160, which yeah. is sort of over 200 tons. Yeah. So when we're talking about processing, what can we process? What's the, the sort of you know, capacity Dep or something like that? Depending on your closed side setting, you're looking yeah. at a, a range of production from 450 to 750 tons an hour. Wow. We've got currently one working here in Leicester doing around 700 tons an hour and burning 21 litres of fuel only. 21 litres for yeah. 700 tons? Yeah, yeah. Now, this comes back to me talking about why you would invest in new equipment, why you would have something, that a hybrid that you can plug in and whatever. So fundamentally, that says we're keeping the cost of production down. Yep. So then we've got more profit at the end of the line when it comes to selling materials, isn't it? Correct. And this type of product, this is a 10, 20, 30 year machine. Yeah, yeah. So you can look at it. So a guy that owned the quarry, owns the reserve, some of the bigger companies that have multiple sites. Yeah. This type of equipment is perfect. We've recently just installed a, a mobile cone line that's replacing a fixed line. Right. We could install it and it was up and running in two weeks. Whereas wow. if you had a fixed installation, you've got civils, you've got too much time. Yeah, yeah. Loss of uh, profits to customers. So they were able to get, get going within two weeks. And of course, folks, all supported by the engineers here at AgPro and telemetry on the machine as well. We've got uh, telemetry on the machine. We've got bearing temperatures. Uh, we've got operation inside the excavator for this machine also right. on a little operational pad. So that, that'll go to your phone, that'll go to the laptop, or it can, the guy can control it from inside his cab. He can change the settings, change the feeder speed, check the bearing temps, check the tons per hour, all, all there. So that stops him getting in and out of the excavator. Right, uh, fantastic. So fundamentally, single operator working with this, turns it on and off, looks at everything else, Therefore, that's why we're keeping the idle time down, folks. Correct. And that is also crucial to this. Up. So, yeah. lots going on here at Hillhead with the AgPro team. First time I've seen them. Nice to meet you. Right and, Peter. Uh, Thank you very much. It's great to be up high, but megatons here at Hillhead. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. There we Cheers, go. Peter. Thank you. Well,